All right, today, how to check for anagrams in Python. So I have three functions here. Is anagram one, two, and three. Three different solutions for finding anagrams, and we're gonna run through them in detail. Now before we do, let's just refresh ourselves what actually is an anagram. I kinda needed this refresher myself. And so an anagram, is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase. So the prominent example they have here is listen is an anagram of silent. And they have a whole bunch down here and I'll take some examples of these anagrams and plug them into our Python functions here to, to check that everything's working good, right? So I guess let's start with number one. Um, this solution is using the sorted built-in function. So basically we're comparing two sorted strings. And I'll just run it so you can get a feel for it. It's returning a boolean of true or false. If I removed a letter or something, um, it's going to return false. And of course it's not like length based, so even if I have two strings of the same length, they're still not anagrams unless they have all the same letters. So that's how we get true is we have anagrams. So what is sorted actually doing? Um, I guess I'll print this out for you so that you can get a feel for it. Okay, so what is sorted doing? Basically it's taking a string and it's breaking it down into a list of strings and then rearranging those indexes, rearranging those strings in alphabetical order, right? So we see here that we're starting with E and then I, L, N, S. It's happening in alphabetical order, right? So a string, again, uh, was changed to an alphabetical list of strings, I guess you could say. So that's what's being compared. It's not the string being compared directly. We're comparing sorted lists. So the, these sorted lists are the same, and that's why uh, the solution returns true. And I think it's fair to say that this is the cleanest solution for checking for anagrams using the built-in function. A couple more things I want to mention about uh, this first function, and they'll actually apply to the later functions, but a couple things. The first is if you were checking for case sensitivity, what you could do is add dot lower here, dot lower on both strings, both comparisons, so that we are sorting lowercase strings, right? And we can return this again, and that'll return true. And if we made this a capital T, and we run this again, that'll return true. So we have sorted it to lowercase uh, before running it. And if I remove these dot lowers and kept that capital T, when we run this, that's going to be false. So if you're comparing case sensitive strings, you're going to have to convert that first before you sort it. The next thing I want to do is show you a way to make your programs faster. So imagine you had a really long string, right? Like you're really trying to test the, the speed of this program. What you would want to do is just first check if the length of the two strings are the same. Just a very quick check. And if the length is not the same, it doesn't matter how you're going to sort it. Um, it's not going to be an anagram. So you could do, I guess, len string one equals len string two. And actually we'll do does not equal. We're going to return false. So this will never get into that statement because uh, these strings are of the same length. And I run that. It's true. Listen and silent are the same. Now, if I reduce that length, uh, that's going to return false. And I might as well just put a print statement here so that you can see that we are in the if statement, right? So we're in the if statement. Uh, the lengths are not the same. So this is going to be faster because we never have to do any sorting. We just check the length and we're done, right? So there are two tips, uh, case sensitivity and checking for length. And I guess that's all for solution one. Uh, we can move on to solution two now. All right, so solution two is actually pretty similar to solution one, where we're basically comparing sorted lists. And the only reason I wanted to show you the second one 
was just say you weren't able to use the sorted built-in function, what you could do instead is create the list yourselves and then sort the lists with the sort list method. So again, we're running um, is anagram to this second function and we can check and that's gonna return true. And if we modify it, that's gonna return false. And I guess just so you can see um, an idea of what one of these looks like, uh, we'll just show you list two, okay? We run this and again, it's that same list of strings that we saw in the first function. And if I remove that, um, you know, we have a different length to our list of strings and we have a true response. So if you can't use a sorted built-in function or you just want to, you know, understand what's happening behind the scenes, uh, we create a list and then we sort that list. All right, now let's move on to solution three. And this one's interesting. This is different from the previous two solutions. Firstly, because we're importing something, right? Uh, we're gonna use the collections package and we're gonna import counter. And counter is actually pretty interesting. Um, I'll run this right away just so you can see that this returns true as well. And if we modify this in any way, uh, that's gonna return false, okay? So this is our isAnagram3 function. And this is interesting. What I wanted to do was print out uh, what's actually getting compared because it's not a list of strings like we were doing in our previous comparison. Um, C1. What's different about this is we're comparing basically dictionaries that count the frequency of every string and then we're comparing dictionaries. Um, I guess technically it's a counter object, but at the end of the day, it's a dictionary with key value pairs where the key is the string and the value is the frequency of occurrences of that string, right? So um, I guess if I did um, N, 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 and we run this again, N has three. Um, so it's not creating like different values or something like that list was, it's counting them um, and, and checking the total number, right? So I've heard that this uh, method of doing things was considered the most, most Pythonic. Um, so the, if you're allowed to import things, the counter might be a great tool for you. Lastly, I just wanted to take a few more examples from uh, the Wikipedia page and plug this in and make sure we are good to go. So here we have fairy tales and rail safety and we can plug this in and you know you can see how we're counting that and that's returning true rail safety and fairy tales are anagrams and let's just say i threw an extra space in there right um, that's still going to return false all of these solutions take spaces into account and you can see there's actually a space counter here uh, that's counting the number of spaces of course this is for c1 so it still only has one space um, if I triple that up, right, our space has three. Um, and yeah, so we're taking spaces into consideration. Um, I like debit card and bad credit. Debit card, bad credit. And I'll just remove this print function, clean up our page here, run this again. Debit, debit card and bad credit are anagrams. Um, and I guess that's pretty much it. Three ways to check for anagrams in Python. The first, using the sorted built-in function. Uh, the second, using the sorted method of lists. And the third, using the counter. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.